Hi guys, it's Andy with another quick review little video. Um, just want to show you my latest scuba toy. Um, and I'm also using this um, as a crappy excuse because I want to try my super fast broadband on the upload speed. And I've also got a new wireless lapel mic. So uh, hopefully the audio is a bit better on this one than it has been in previous videos. So um, me wasting your time uh, just to try latest things. Let's get on to the talk. So what have I bought this time? Well, um, I was that impressed with my video light from Big Blue. Um, I've bought another one, uh, except this is their little backup torch. This is the AL450, it might be P, but it's the wide version anyway. It's the AL450, which is a, a little backup torch. So, I mean, as you can see, it's teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny, and it weighs uh, next to nothing as well. Uh, but yet, it still pumps out 450 lumens um, of super white light, which is quite sexy. Um, so, uh, turned up in the post, uh, if I go here, there's a picture of it, because I'm afraid I didn't get a video, um, box isn't no chat about, and uh, the only other thing that we got in the box um, that was attached to it was a 24 foot long lanyard thing that, I don't know where I'm supposed to strap that to, so that went in the bin, but that's pretty much it, it's all you get, no, no bells or whistles on this one, it just uh, does what it says on the tin kind of jobs. So, um, as you can see on the end there, it's got the little concave lens, that's to give it the uh, sort of wide beam. Uh, it's a single Cree LED, uh, so it should last for eons. And again, it's in the typical big blue uh, ninja black, matte black kind of uh, finish. And it's all, you know, one piece aluminium, milled aluminium. Uh, it's got a nice grippy bit there because you switch it on and off by twisting it. So if you just open it up and have a look so you've got the head unit obviously at one end that big blue are now marketing as oh you can switch it between bodies uh why i don't know um so that's in there and it comes with a nice little thing actually so they're marketing it like pokemon you can collect them all you know with the chubby being at like you know four and a half grand or something like that yeah why not i'll collect them all but anyway this one isn't uh, so anyway, the inside of that body is, that's it, there's just a little spring there to connect the battery and a little serial number sticker, whatever that is. Um, but yeah, there's no, no points to leak there, no switches or anything. Uh, and uh, yeah, so one of the reasons I bought this is because I'm off to Swanage in a couple of weeks uh, diving, so I wanted a nice backup light for that. But the other reason was I'm going to Egypt in a couple of months and I've heard uh, stories about, uh, since all the troubles over there, that... Um, when you're flying they're, they're getting a bit anal about batteries so uh, they're taking them off you they're just taking them off you uh, even you know torches where there's a proprietary battery you know where you can't buy it from the shop is a specialist battery that fits in uh, they're just taking it off you so leaving people buggered so i wanted something where i could just um buy the batteries from any shop uh, so uh, this one takes three triple a's burn time they say on it is four hours um i wouldn't believe that at all um i never believe manufacturers uh quotes on these things because normally it's garbage uh, and the other big, big blue torch uh, lasts nowhere near what they say and it doesn't do what it says with the indicators as you can see from that review however it's still a good torch i would imagine that uh, with a pair of, with a set of fresh batteries and decent batteries you should be getting two hours or two or three hours out of this uh, easily so as a backup torch it should be spot on so dead easy to put together and you've got your double o-ring seal that's pretty much standard uh, now the other reason I like this torch was it's got none of the shite that you get with other torches. Okay, it's just twist on, twist off, yeah? No SOS flashing or three power levels, right? Nobody uses power levels, right? Your torch is on or it's off. I mean, seriously, if you use, if you've got a torch where you're going to have three power levels, and I'm talking torch here, not video light, which might be a bit different, although I don't believe so. But if you've got a torch and you use, like, the low power level, please leave me a comment below because I would love to know why you do that because I've never met a diver who uses anything but on or off. Yeah, it, it, so I don't, I don't get it. And it also prevents the you looking like a tit moment when you think you've switched your torch off. But seriously, you're flashing SOS to all and sundry and you've got three boats coming to your assistance when really you don't need it. You just didn't switch your torch off properly. So um, another bonus, in my view, um, about this torch. So really, really not a nice compact unit. I'm really looking forward to using it. So uh, anyway, I'm going to let you get off now. 
Um, I will do some footage uh, using this torch and uh, I'll upload it or maybe attach it to this video uh, and let you have a look at what it looks like underwater as well but uh, I'm really really looking forward to using it and um, I mean it's that good with the beam spread as well that, I mean you see there look, there's no hot spot at all um, but I might actually even just buy a second arm for my camera rig and uh, bung it onto there and uh, use it as sort of a uh, an additional video light as well so you know even though it's only about half as powerful as me ordinary one but yeah really really good and at 55 pounds um yeah bit of a bargain i thought that's pretty good so anyway guys i'll leave it with you and uh, like i say i'll do some test footage underwater for those that prefer seeing that and uh, yeah you look after yourselves dive safe and i'll see you soon thanks